Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. Uh, you guessed it, y'all. I am actually in the front seat of my car. By the grace of God, I am in my favorite parking spot here in the workplace. Um, today is May Day. And there's a lot that goes on downtown by way of marches or protests, street closures. And so the reason I drove today, I actually have uh, a medical appointment and it's downtown here. And I wasn't sure if the dash was going to be on detour and I'm going someplace new. So I thought it best that I drive. Then a very dear friend from work is retiring and she's having a lunch later. Actually, I'm on the waiting list for that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go, but I needed my car. So I'm here. I'm in my front seat. Um, today it is Wednesday. It is May 1. Uno de Mayo. <laughs> it's the 1st of May. Um, and... I left home at like 4.15, 4.20, and I've been here, it's 5, almost 5.50. I've been here maybe five minutes, so yeah, me and this late morning drive, you know. See, when you leave, when I leave at like 3.30, headed to the bus stop, there are fewer cars and fewer cars on the road. I don't mind doing 60, 65, but leaving like 4.15, 4.30, there are more cars on the road, and it's just something I just can't seem to do that 60, 65. I'm more like a 55, 60. Then that frustrates the cars behind me, which frustrates me. Anywho, it is May 1st, beloved. And as we make our way back through the book of Proverbs, some might say, here we go again. Okay. Um, But the purpose of Proverbs, Proverbs 1 and 1, the purpose the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment of equity, to give subtly to the simple, that would be moi, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Now, did he come in the wrong way? Well, go ahead on. So here in the book of Proverbs, we're finding that Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, He's saying that the purpose of this book is to what? To know, to gain, to, to know wisdom and an, an end instruction. And then to perceive those words of understanding. Here, there are many Proverbs and where Solomon is speaking to his son. Now, we know those words to his son can go out to daughters as well. But it's saying that the young, that they will do what? They will gain knowledge and then they will also gain and learn discretion. I read something on social media and it said, I'm so glad I did all my foolishness before the internet. Why? Because when we're young, we, we, we don't have discretion. We, if we feel like doing it, we do it. Not all, but most. Many of us suffer today because we just went with the feeling. There's a song on the country station. It says, I know what I was feeling, but what was I thinking? So if we study the book of Proverbs, it's saying those who are young, not only are you going to gain knowledge, not only are you going to learn what wisdom is all about or get a little wisdom dropped into your spirit, you're also going to learn discretion. And as we go through the book of Proverbs, we find that if we go here, if we do that, if we act this way, if we act that way, that there's calamity to fall. Or if we do just the opposite or go just the opposite of those things, then what? There are blessings that are going to be all around us. Then also the book of Proverbs, it gives warning against violence. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You ever heard that person or been that person? You can't tell me nothing. 
I'm grown. Or you just an old fogey. You don't know. You don't know. You old. You old. Beloved. If someone is older than you or me, that means they used to be our age or your age. You know, we're like 14 and 15 and we're like, you just old. Uh, hello. They used to be 14 and 15. They used to be 54 or 24. But the fear of the Lord, it's the beginning of knowledge. And that's what we learned about going through the Proverbs. We learned to fear the Lord. And that fearing the Lord is what? It's to reverence him. Here Solomon is saying, my son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Beloved Proverbs teaches us if we just listen. My mother used to say, Sharon, listen, listen, you don't pay attention. I'd be like, I am, I hear you. You hear me, but are you listening? Says here, for they should be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. Don't you know when we heed to the warnings of our father, when we uh, listen to those uh, rules that mother has in place for us, um, the scripture said it'll be an ornament of grace unto our heads and chains about the neck. Now, my neck is kind of fat, but they say, ain't no, I hear you, booby, ain't no kind of Sharon. They say the most attractive part on a woman's body is the neck. Mm -hmm. Again, I got a whole lot of rolls and then I got a chin in the way. But I mean, you know, and so can you imagine a beautiful strand of pearls? A beautiful gold herringbone, a nice sterling silver something is like, wow, that's a beautiful necklace. Can you imagine grace adorning us as such? My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. We know when we're being enticed, don't go that way. Scripture says, uh, let us lurk privately for the innocent without call. Oh, if they say, come unto us, let us lay, wait for blood. Let us lurk privately for the innocent without cause. When those sinners entice, they just land and waiting, land and waiting. So it's a good thing to read the book of Proverbs 20. Start saying that uh, the reject, the result of rejecting wisdom, wisdom cry it without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city. She uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Wisdom is crying out, How long are you going to do folly and foolishness? I mean, at some point, foolishness ought to be behind us, beloved. Because if I'm 54 today, and if I'm carrying on like I did when I was 34, or carrying on like I did when I was 17, something is wrong. Come on, how long are we going to go after simplicity, after the folly of things? Beloved. It says, and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. We got to learn something. But when you just don't want to learn anything, that would be a fool. Verse 24 says, because I have cried and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have sought, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Beloved, we going to mess around too long. I met a man. He said, I used to be youth pastor at my church. He said, but I did what I wanted to do one time too many. He said, I played with God one time too much. Here in the word of God, wisdom is crying out saying, one day you're going to call for me and I ain't even going to answer you. Why? Because you did not choose the fear of the Lord. 
They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto the unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So beloved, this is my May 1st and we're going to make our way this month and 30 days had September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 except the second month alone. So that means May means May has 31 days in it. And there are 31 Proverbs. So there's one for every day this month. So you know what I'm about to say? Let me get out of this car. I'm going to, I think, do my walk. Then come get my things out the car. Get upstairs. Render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on tomorrow. From where? From my front seat. Chances are, however, it won't be right here because I don't believe I'll be driving. This is your girl, Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.